The United States could soon tap into energy from unexpected sources. The solar industry says there are more than a million individual solar panel installations nationwide, and the business could nearly double in size by year's end. But renewable energy accounted for only about 10% of the power this country used a year ago, which could mean it's a real missed opportunity. CBS News Science and Futurist contributor Michio Kaku is here to explain why. Good morning. Good team. morning. You know, it, it used to just be solar energy we were talking about, but alternative energy is really expanded here. And I know there's something to be very excited about, particularly regarding seawater. Yes, um, this is straight out of Star Trek. Uh, for those people who, who follow science fiction, you know that fusion power is what drives the Enterprise and the Federation of Planets and stuff like that. But the French and the European Union, they're bidding the store on the ITER fusion reactor based in southern France. By 2020, they hope to turn on, turn it on, and by 2027, they hope to generate power. And the fuel eventually comes from seawater, hydrogen from seawater. Mm. It creates almost no nuclear waste to speak of, cannot melt down, but it's not ready yet. But we hope that within, again, a 10, 15 year time frame, we could be entering a fusion era. So it's not just theoretical, this is going to happen at some point. The Europeans have already spent over $10 billion building the ITE, our fusion reactor. Wow. It, of course, has cost overruns, it's been delayed, but when it's up and running, it could be a game changer. I mean, think about it, almost energy for free. This is the dream of futurists. Which actually uh, brings me to this point. The United States is ranked number eight when it comes to energy efficiency behind countries like Germany, Italy, uh, Japan, France, the UK, and China. What's happening overseas that isn't happening here? Well, first of all, Germany and Switzerland are even phasing out nuclear power, and even then, they're beginning to meet the energy needs of a growing economy. Energy efficiency, solar, wind power. Wind power is huge in Europe because, you see, Europe doesn't have the supply of oil that we have. We have gas guzzlers. We're addicted to oil. <laughs> Oil's been cheap in this country, yeah. not in Europe. You go to Europe and you have sticker shock once you get that fuel bill and you realize how expensive oil is in Japan and Europe. That's why they're gung-ho in wind power and solar power. It's interesting, Facebook recently tested a drone that runs on solar power, right? How will that change too? Because they want it to provide internet access around the world. How do you see that developing? Well, you see, solar power is for free. You yeah. cannot meter the sun. And in developing nations where they have a hard time generating the power for the internet, why not have solar drones that simply get a sunlight from, from the sky? And so that could be a game changer in the third world, making the internet almost for free and available for everyone from sunlight from the sky. Wow. What about Tesla's new battery? That could also be a game changer. You realize, why don't we have the solar era? Every few years we talk about it, it never comes. The bottleneck is the battery. Mm -hmm. But this is where Tesla Motor comes in. They're now marketing a new battery, given the fact that prices have been dropping by 7% per year in the battery. Now, 100 years ago, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford had a bet. Would, the, would gasoline or the battery power the future? We all know that Henry Ford won the bet. But Edison may have the last laugh. Mm -hmm. Energy efficiency is now making the battery competitive with fossil fuel technology. Watch for it. The battery. People forget that. Mm -hmm. That's been the bottleneck for renewables, wind power, and solar power. When the sun don't shine and the winds don't blow, right. you're out of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Except Thank that's you. where the battery comes in. I Thank wish you. I was as smart as you. Oh, my God, so smart. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you.